what's up everybody this is going to be the chess master from 1991 from for super nintendo he's going to be white versus um komodo which is the chess.com engine so he starts with the english opening i don't know because this one used to kick my ass all the time when this is when i was like younger i didn't get the chess master until like probably 2001 2002 a long time ago but this game's from 1991 and this is one of the only two games i ever um two or three games in my life where I bought the, um, the, um, game after I bought the ramen emulator, because I really liked the game, because I played on Super Nintendo a long, long time ago, so you see this is an English opening, oh. now is this, so this engine is, like, strong, it has a good opening repertoire, it's, like, weak in the, in the late game, but you're usually dead, before the late game and like um like i played this thing for years on and off and i actually used it to cheat like maybe like 20 years ago like, i like like but i only like um did it in like unrated games but and i actually like i beat my uncle like a long time ago when i was like a little kid and he's like how did you do it i just copied the movies from the chess master but like it's not that strong it's like um I mean, it's strong, but you had to, like... But it's, like, for, like, 1991, it's, like, incredible. But compared to, like, these guys, like, Stockfish, um, Komodo, like, the newer Chess Master, even... Like, Chess Master's, like, kind of old now. Like, I was playing it when I was young. Okay, so... Here, like, he's, like, trying to, um... This Chess Master, like, it, like it's, like, a Pawn Snatcher. It's, like, is it gonna get that? Like, it, like, likes to snatch pawns, but look... And here's a, a couple of tricks, watch. Dun. So maximum 3,200 you see right here. That's Komodo. I thought it was Stockfish, but it was not. See, and that's, snatching that pawn right there is like really weird, but um, but the engine actually thinks that's a right move. It's a chess master. So this is like back in Pogo.com. This is what I like used to learn, but um... Chess Master 7000 is the game that made me good at chess a long, long time ago, and he thinks that's a mistake. So there, it lo and it looks like it's okay, right? Like, but this engine can't calculate everything that the newer engines can. I don't expect this thing to win at all. So that's like, boom, boom, and then that's like thinks it's a mistake. It wanted me to, or it wanted me to move the queen there. To e7 and then so basically you, you can't tell about like um like white's basically screwed it looks like it's kind of even like how is he going to checkmate him but like this is like a wait let me go back a little bit look both are on the fifth file the fifth rank or whatever and then boom so if you bring the rook on the queen like that you could do some tricks even though it looks like hey nothing's really happening and then go back here boom 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 and then that bishop, he basically wanted just to give up that bishop just to set up our attack. That basically is the force checkmate. But the engine from um, 1991, the chess master, can't do it, can't figure this out. And as soon as he gets the queen right there, it's basically a good game. He can't stop it. So he had, he basically just stopped and mate and I'm um, like two or whatever. So now, checkmate. And if for some reason, like if... um. You move this pawn, move this rook. It's like, it's checkmate either way. So, but I'm gonna show you another game. Hold on, um, that's better than this. And by the way, I want to show you the results: 97.5% accuracy from the chess match from 1991. That's like incredible. Like it's hard to get that high. It's like that's a like really, but like I said, it's weaker in the end game. But it didn't make it to the end game. So I'm gonna go here. Okay, so now I want to show you the 2012 version of Fritz Chess versus. I'm Komodo. This is when I had a new account. So, E4. It's the first move. And di and I did a couple of games against this thing. It always does the same Sicilian. It does the... Watch, you see. And then it, when it moves a bishop here, it's going to check and then move the bishop and trade bishops. Well, actually, he's not doing it this time. But it does some kind of similar Sicilian. Like, every time versus this engine. Whenever um, Fritz from 2012 fight, fights this thing... So this is the chess.com engine is on um, black. Komodo 25. They call it Engine 25 International. 
So, so he's maneuvering around the queen. I know I'm going fast, but I'm more of a blitz player, so I'm not going to go, like, super slow. Like a one-minute and three-minute player, basically, right now. So now, it's just kicking the bishop away. But <clears throat> I'm not going to go... I'm going to go through, the, like, the middle game, like, somewhat fast. But look at how... Look at this. This is his first strange move. Watch. Okay, and then you think, like, okay, oh, darn, he won a pawn. And then, like, you think, like... But then, like, he takes that pawn. You're like, what the heck's going on? And then he could, like... If he takes it with the pawn, he's going to um take that, like... And then the knight's going to take it. And then the queen's going to take it. It's going to be a wreck. So, like, it's like a trick move. Both engines are doing trick moves on each other. So, these are completely different engines. And now he... he the, this engine sees it, the um, Komodo. Fritz is, is white. So, then he's just going to trade knights, kind of... And like he's he can't take the if he takes that bishop, it's just gonna run into um the knights that's gonna take the queen. So it looks like that knight's still hanging, but it is because he's a piece of head. So now he's just gonna trade. And like I don't know how um Fritz allowed himself to get into this situation. So it's what, three, four, five, six pawns versus five pawns? But one of them is a double pawn. So it's five. He's by um Fritz has the bishop pair, even though like White's got the messed up pawns. So now, like, um, it's like it starts to get into like a weird end game. Like you can't really tell who's winning right now. Um, so a free pawn, free pawn, and then he just took a. It looks like white might be better because he could push on the um left side. But look at how weird this is. It looks like he hung a um. It looks like he hung a um bishop, but he really didn't. It's weird. And then the, and all the engine sees it and just like ignores it. It's, it's like these moves are like, look, what if he just takes that bishop? Like, I, I, I don't. It's it's like weird. It's like trick moves. If he takes that, he's gonna move the um the, the rook up there and then take that and then check and then the um king's gonna be had to move here and be pinned back. So he doesn't even take it. And then he just does hit trick move versus trick move. And now he's gonna try and do a discovery check and then he just moves down and like. With the knight here and everything, that's like a scary move. I was like, how am I, how am I safe there? But the engines know what they're doing. No, uh, there. There. He's trying to, like, um, check on E1. But look, and then, like, he just ignores it. Why can't the, um, the rook just take on E1 and then take the bishop? Because, like, the, the king might go here and then... Because, I guess, because he's counterattacking on this knight. It's really weird. So he's gonna do it anyway. Oh, and he takes it anyway. So Komodo takes it anyway. And I trade in. No, I might trade bishops. You trade bishops. Okay, so this is the end game. But watch, dun, dun. it could be a draw right here, maybe. But he wants to. Um, for, I thought Fritz was winning here. I was like, oh my god, Fritz might win. This is amazing. So now it looks like wow, black with these pawns like da looks dangerous. And I'll let you know where where I think it gets interesting. Okay, now it's starting to get to queens. Can you promote to a queen? But then white's promoting to a queen and he's promoting to a queen at the same time. So it's freaking wacky. Look at this. And he's pushing down there, and he just doesn't promote because the rook's gonna take, of course. But who's gonna get the queen first, and who's gonna like? Start checking the other guy. So trade pawns, that's normal. Okay, now it's like starting to get crazy dangerous. Like two queens here and two queens here. Like the middle game I didn't really analyze super long. I want to look at the end game just a little bit more. I think it's a little more interesting. So look, who's like who wins it? This is a crazy position, the most craziest position I ever seen, like maybe. 
But look, look, like who's who, who does what right here? This is these are two completely different engines. So it's not like um, it's playing against itself and it knows what it's doing against itself. So like, can he just get a queen? If he gets a queen, yeah. But is he gonna? But he look, watch. Black's not gonna take it because then he's gonna get another queen. He's just gonna counterattack with his queen. But watch what um white does. Usually you just take the queen with a rook. But then he just moves the king. It looks like who's checkmating who? It, because there's so many checks. You just think you could just check, 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 and then checkmate. It gets really, really weird right here. I mean, it looks so dangerous to have the king right there. The, the queen could just come out. He could check with the rook on B and B2. And then, like, the queen could just go in. And it, it just looks dangerous. But then he checks rather than taking the queen. Then he moves right there. I'm like, oh my god, that looks super dangerous. But like, can't like he move like the queen to like f5 and then try to checkmate him on the next move? Um, not really, because then um he's gonna get a queen and then discovery and on there it's just this freaking weird. And then, like he's just sacrificing the rook because he, he's just sacrificing the rook. And he takes a rook because he because then he's gonna get another queen. Actually, it's not a sacrifice. So that's just a really weird trade. What am I thinking? This is a weird looking trade for rooks. Now look. Boom. Naguch. Who's got. Look, two queens versus two queens. Now it looks like black might be able to like force a checkmate right here. But look, watch. He's just going to perpetual check him forever. And then if he perpetual checks trades, gets a queen. I know. Look at that. If you go slow, it's more. It's more. The slower you go, the more complicated it looks. This is gonna turn into a perpetual draw, perpetual check draw. But like, they tie. But I thought that was a really weird game. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm gonna do more on um, Battle of the Bots if people like this. I'm not sure if like if people like it or not. But thanks for watching.